base. It's not so easy to get there. And once you're there, a lot can go wrong. Even writing with a ballpoint pen is impossible. In the average ballpoint pen, gravity forces ink from the cartridge into the ballpoint tip and onto the paper. But in a place with no gravity, the ink doesn't go anywhere. Which is why those of us who spend our lives on Earth can't write upside down either. Very frustrating. But in 1966, the Fisher Space Pen was born. It writes at any angle, including upside down. The space pen can handle temperatures of 250 degrees Fahrenheit and 30 below zero, which is handy if someone happens to be doing the crossword on the planet Mars. For good measure, this is a pen that can write underwater and on greasy surfaces, and it will last almost three times as long as a typical ballpoint pen which makes it very popular even with people who aren't astronauts. Consider this. At the Fisher Pen Factory in Boulder City, Nevada, they churn out more than a million space pens every year. Their success is built on two key innovations, a high-pressure ink cartridge and the patented gooey ink that goes inside. The first step in making a space pen is to fashion the tips from a coil of steel wire. A machine straightens the wire and then cuts it into pen tips about a quarter inch long. It spits them out at a rate of 25 a minute. The tips are ejected in an oil bath that also keeps the machines from overheating. Then, these drills dig a channel in each tip. These are how the ink will flow to the ballpoint. The next step is to shape the end of the tip, where the pen's ballpoint will sit. That's what this machine, called the Albi, does. They say the pen is mightier than the sword. But this pen has something in common with a more modern-day weapon. The ballpoints are made out of tungsten carbide, the same metal used in armor-piercing bullets. It's twice as hard as steel. The Albi hammers a ball into the end of each tip. Then it heats and stretches the tip up around the edges of the ball to hold it in place. Blow the fit, and under high pressure, the ink will ooze right out of the pen and onto your nice, clean spacesuit. So far, this pen is manufactured pretty much like any ballpoint pen, but here's where any similarities stop. This is a space pen. It needs some space ink. Normal ballpoint ink is thin, which is suitable for normal ballpoint pens. But the space pen depends on a highly pressurized cartridge, which would create leaks if conventional ink were used. Space pen ink has the consistency of soft taffy, which raises a perplexing question. How can thick goo like this flow onto a sheet of paper? For the same reason toothpaste can be squeezed out of a tube but stay pretty solid on the brush. This ink is what's known as a thixotropic substance. At rest, it's a thick, dense gel. But under pressure, the ink turns into a spreadable fluid. To get the ink into the pen, hollow brass cartridges roll onto the assembly line. Ballpoint tips seal off one end. A machine then injects exactly 1.7 grams of ink. A sliding ball goes in next. The simulated gravity comes from this squirt of nitrogen and oxygen gas, which exerts about 35 pounds of pressure per square inch, 
about the same as an average car tire. As the pen writes, the pressure on the ball will force the ink evenly down the chamber to the point. Now, to seal the cartridge. A coating of glue goes in, followed by a brass plug. This keeps the ink from leaking out the back of the pen or evaporating. A regular ballpoint cartridge is open on the end, so the ink can dry out. But a space pen cartridge can write for more than two miles straight. So it will still be writing long after the average person runs out of things to say. With the inner workings now complete, workers assemble the outside of the pen. Fisher's most popular space pen model is called the bullet pen, and you can see why. Workers slip in the cartridges, pop on the bottom casings, screw them together, and top them off with tightly fitting caps. A quick test drive, and these pens are ready for liftoff. Whether they're destined for the kitchen counter or a trip to the moon, it's clear the Fisher Space Pen has the right stuff.